So today I want to answer a question from a subscriber about why would my stomach acid increase while I'm sleeping? I think the answer is going to surprise you a little bit. Let's jump in. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So over on our how to wipe out bad bacteria in the stomach video, Judso Joe asked, could you do a video on why my stomach acids increase in the wee hours of the morning? So Judso Joe is probably having some reflux symptoms that are magnifying while she's sleeping because the reality is the answer to the question is it wouldn't. The stomach acid wouldn't increase in the middle of the night. But since most people's point of view is that acid reflux is caused by having too much stomach acid, the viewpoint would be like, oh man, this is when my reflux is the worst, so this must mean that this is when my stomach acid is going the highest. But the reality is that in most cases, there's this LES valve at the bottom of the esophagus. And when we're looking at most cases of acid reflux, it's an issue of that valve not closing correctly. That valve is supposed to open so food can come in and then it closes so that the food doesn't come back up and, and burn us when it's all acidified and stuff. The problem is that LES valve is triggered by stomach acid. So if someone doesn't have enough stomach acid to trigger that LES valve to close, but maybe they're making a small amount, then that small amount will come up and burn them and they get the acid reflux issues. So I'll even put a link in the description below on a study that shows that in a lot of cases, this reflux can be caused by hypochlorhydria, which is a lack of stomach acid. So you had the right thinking here when you're saying, oh, why would my acid go up in the wee hours of the night? You know, because if you think about it, the further away you get from food, the less acid should be produced. And again, I don't know Judso Joe's situation, um, so I'm not giving you advice on what you should do in this situation, and I don't want you to view anything that you hear as information or a diagnosis or medical advice. I don't want you to have this information steer you away from getting medical help if you really need that. But I want you to understand how this reflux issue can come about for a lot of people. So if someone really isn't having a whole lot of reflux symptoms during the day, there can be a variety of reasons that that could happen. But in a lot of cases, they may be making just enough stomach acid to trigger that valve to close so that they don't get reflux. But as the night goes on and they go to sleep and they're getting further away and that meal is digested, now the body doesn't need as much stomach acid because that food has already been digested. So now the stomach stops producing that acid and the acid levels fall. So maybe they fall to a point where the stomach is not acidic enough to trigger that valve to close. So now the small amount of acid that's left in there is going to come back up and burn them. And the fact that they're lying down makes it a lot easier for that acid to come up. That's why you hear so much about people improving their nighttime acid reflux symptoms when they lift the head of the bed up or they sleep in an elevated position or they sleep on their side. Some way that is going to restrict the acid from coming back up. When gravity can help keep the acid down, that can be really helpful. But something else that could be happening is someone could have like a bacterial overgrowth in the stomach, like an H. pylori scenario or some other type of bacteria that can create similar issues. And with a lot of this bacteria, the waste product that they put out is alkaline. So they'll be alkalizing the stomach from their waste product and kind of making it a better environment for them to thrive in. But that alkaline waste can then make the stomach a little bit too alkaline to where it's not triggering that valve to close. And of course, this magnifies when the person gets away from food and the body is not making enough hydrochloric acid. Another problem is that these bacteria can create a lot of gases and the gases can create pressure in the stomach and that pressure can push the small amount of acid that's there back up. And maybe they have enough acid to trigger that valve to close most of the time, but maybe at night when bacteria might become more active, when there might be not that digestive process going on at that moment, and the bacteria are like, hey, let's have a party now, and they become more active and create more gases. And that increase in pressure might be enough to push that valve a little more open and allow more of that acid to seep up. So you can see there's a variety of issues that could be creating nighttime acid reflux from person to person. It might not be the same scenario for every person. And when that's the case, 
there's not going to be one remedy that will fix it for every person. A person's really going to have to look at what might be going on with them. But a couple of things that you could try that I hear from a lot of people saying that they have success with is some people will just do like a shot of apple cider vinegar, like maybe just a tablespoon or like a little half of a shot glass or something when they're having those reflux symptoms. And with that apple cider vinegar, that acid going down the esophagus and passing that LES valve, that can sometimes be enough to trigger that valve to tighten and to close and stop those symptoms. Another thing that people say they might test out is to put a little bit of sea salt on their tongue. Not normal salt. It needs to be a salt that really has some significant mineral levels in it. And sea salt can be appropriate there or some type of unrefined salt. But when they put that sea salt on their tongue, those minerals going down and passing the LES valve may also have the ability to tighten it and get it to close a little bit better. So those little remedies can help for some people. But for most folks, it's really about correcting the underlying cause of the problem. But for a lot of people, they listen to advertisers that may say, hey, why don't you neutralize that acid? Take these antacids and take these things that turn off stomach acid and then that'll relieve your symptoms. And when they do that, that could bring relief by, alkal by alkalizing those acids in the stomach and neutralizing them. So when they come back up, they don't burn. But when you're doing that, you're just reducing your body's stomach acid level, which means that in the future, that stomach acid is going to go even lower, which means that it's not going to be enough acid to trigger that valve even more frequently. So it really seems to have the ability over time to magnify those symptoms. And you can look at that study in the description below to kind of understand how that lack of stomach acid and reducing that acid further has the ability to kind of magnify the issue over time. So what we like to see people do is correct the actual underlying cause of the problem where maybe either help their body make more stomach acid if the body is not making enough stomach acid or if there's a bacterial overgrowth in the stomach that is neutralizing those acids a person could take steps to reduce that bacterial load and and wipe out those bacteria a little bit so we'll put links in the description below for our videos on how to wipe out bad bacteria in the stomach but if this low stomach acid causing reflux is new information for you then you want to jump over and watch our video on what's causing my acid reflux because there can be a variety of issues that can really be creating this problem. But if you feel like you might be having other symptoms of low stomach acid, and we'll put other videos in the description below about different things that can show up when stomach acid is not being made enough. But if you feel like that's already a problem for you, jump over right now and check out our video on why can't my body make hydrochloric acid. And that can give you insights into things that may be restricting your body from making enough hydrochloric acid to trigger that valve to close and to keep it closed. Let us know how it goes.